All right, guys, big day today. Very excited. Uh, Runkle sent me some uh, some new stuff to check out, and uh, I'm really excited about this stuff. Um, I got these uh, Runkle chest waders. They're boot-in chest waders. Uh, very, very inexpensive. Uh, so I'm I'm really stoked to get a, get my hands on these. Uh, I want to take them out and uh, uh, really put them to the test and see if they're worth it, because uh, this can change the game as far as because uh, uh, waders and, and boots are not cheap as you guys know. Um, so uh, if these things work good, this could change everything. So I'm excited to try these out. And I also got a, a pair of these uh, Runkle J Claw uh, cold weather gloves. They're fishing gloves. They got magnets in them. You can peel the the fingers back, all that kind of stuff. So. We're gonna go out into the elements. We're gonna try these waders, gonna try these gloves and uh, see how they work. And I'm gonna give you the good and the bad. And uh, uh, hopefully they work out good. I'm, uh, I'm optimistic. So let's see how we do. So let's uh, start with the gloves and get these out of the packaging. And they're cool looking. Give them that. They got some uh, some textured palms here. I guess they're kind of like a mitten, and then you can fold this back, and you got your fingers down in here. So I measured my hand online to their specifications and got the large. To see how they fit. They fit good. You pull this. Oh, okay, that's cool. So there's a magnet here and here, and it just locks back. So you got access to your fingers. Oh, and the thumb comes off here too. It's got a magnet. Let's see, pull your thumb out. Yeah, so you got good working of your fingers here. So I'd be able to cast. The biggest thing though is going to be to see how much this flap interferes with the fishing, or if it's flat enough. It does. They're lined. There's a felt or fur lining in here. And according to the website, you can get these wet. So I'm gonna be up at Pyramid very soon. So you should see that in a minute and uh, get my hands in the water up there where it's very cold and see how they do. Let's see if it's easy to get the uh, mittens back in. Oh yeah, perfectly easy. Yep, so now I'm, hands are warm. If I gotta do something. Like that, there's no snap. Because my other gloves, they have snaps, which are okay, but you got to find it. But this one, you just throw back, and it's it's on there. Pretty neat. All right. Let's check out the waders. All right, here's the waders. Let's see what they got inside here. All right. Little card. Little care and maintenance tips. It's got nice rubber boots. Good sole, and I got the uh, size 10, M10 for men's 10. Uh, I went with my, my shoe size. Um, uh, the specifications on the waders, as far as your size, didn't match up with my size, um, uh, but the, the, the boots did. So that's what I figured. I said, well, if my feet fit, you know, I can, I can make the rest of me fit. Uh, if anything, they'll be big. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And I know uh, usually they come with a belt these out the material feels real strong it's like a nylon type material got some pockets looks like I got a drawstring up here oh here's the suspenders a little patch inside Let's see what else is in the bag here what's this oh this is a, a hook to hang it I believe so here's your hook part and then these these dudes wrap around the boots so you can hang it up to dry it out we got some cards in here value customer some tags oh looks like we got a little patch kit cool and this is probably a belt yep waist belt all right let me uh, put all this on and see how it fits 
All right, let me put these dudes on. All right, the boots fit. Feels like they fit pretty good. I haven't even adjusted these shoulder straps, but they seem to be already pretty good. Got a drawstring up here. Get tight. Let's see if that belt's in here. Oh, it's got some slots for the belt so your belt doesn't slip. Oh yeah, I can thread it through here. Let me see if it's the right size first. Yep. Let's thread this through. Alright. Squat down. Yep. Yeah, these are actually pretty comfortable. I <laughs> uh, just need some uh probably some insoles for the the boots. But that's about it. So we've got a pocket right here in the chest. Fairly good amount of gear. Looks like you got a little okay. It's, detachable little piece of foam you can put your hooks in some side pockets I think there's an inner pocket it has an inner looks like a waterproof pocket might be able to fit a cell phone in that's about it but yeah these are uh, some pretty decent comfortable waders so far now let's uh, Go out to the water and really uh, really test these out. Get out in the water where it's uh, actually real cold. And let's see how they operate. So see you there.
All right, ladies and gents, there you have it. Uh, uh, great little products. Uh, I waited uh, a while to, to take them. I took the gloves to uh, several places uh, where it was cold. Like I went out to Hesperia. I think I got a clip here. Um, and uh, and then the big test was taking them out to Pyramid Lake out in Nevada where it's, uh, it's really cold in December. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I really wanted to see how they did out there. Uh, uh, starting with the, uh, the J claw gloves, uh, did great. Um, as cold as it was, uh, it did keep the core of my hands warm. Um, unfortunately when, uh, when you're fishing, like throwing spoons and, and mini jigs, you got to have your fingers out. Uh, so I had rubber gloves on to help keep the wind off and that helps a bit, but, uh, my fingers were getting frozen. Um, but that's just cause they weren't covered by the mitten portion. If I put the mitten portion back on, I was uh, in good shape. Uh, I could feel them warming back up, but um, I couldn't cast, so I have to take them off, you know. Um, uh, so that that I think really comes down to personal preference, whether or the type of fishing you're doing. Like if you're doing uh, bait and weight fishing, the mittens would be great. Um, the type of fishing I was doing at the time uh, might have been better to have uh, more of a conventional glove where just the fingers uh, peel back because I could just get it down to maybe my thumb and my forefinger uh, to make my casts, and everything else could have remained covered. Um, real big thing I liked about these gloves is the magnets in them. Uh, I haven't had gloves with magnets that fold back like that, but uh, it stays. You just got to flip it back and it's on there. Um, so that was a huge, huge benefit. Um, and, and they really kept my hands warm in that cold environment. Uh, and uh, I got them wet. Um, you saw me fighting that fish. It was so cold that my GoPro cut out. <laughs> so that's why you don't see the catch, but I did catch it. Uh, got it in the net. In fact, that's why it's uh, that fish is the thumbnail. Um, but I use these these gloves to to pull it out of the water. Uh, got them wet, uh, even wet with uh, I had latex gloves on underneath. Um, my hands stayed warm, the core of my hands. But uh, you know when you flip this back, it's it, it's just going to naturally expose your fingers to more of the elements. So uh, so they're going to get cold. But uh, but honestly, that was the only drawback, and that's just more of a, a personal preference and the and the style of fishing I was doing as opposed to the style of gloves I was wearing. So uh, uh, other than that, um, really, really good gloves. I, I, I really like them. Now moving on to the, uh, the waders. Uh, the waders are great. Um, outstanding. And, and the, what, how I qualify them is a uh, starter pair of waders. Like uh, they're perfect if uh, you've never owned waders and you want to try some out um, and want to go out to the local lake. Uh, uh, and see how you do before you know, so you don't have to drop a whole bunch of money because you can get these, you know, around 50, 60 bucks. Um, and, and for that price, the quality is, is, is top notch. I mean, they're, they're really, really nice waders. When I was in the mid, um, uh, the water was just below 50 degrees, which is really cold. Um, uh, they kept me, my clothes on kept me mostly warm. Even those don't have insulation in them, I wasn't any colder. Uh, than I would have been in uh, more expensive waders. I own several pairs of waders, uh, uh, and and I was just as as warm or cold in these as I was in my more expensive waders. So they will get the job done. Uh, the only drawbacks is with the boot in uh, wader. Uh, basically, uh, when you put your foot in there, it's completely flat. You're standing on rubber. So all all you need to do, and what I did is went to the the grocery store, got some uh, some insoles. Cut them to size, and uh, you just roll these down like a like a pair of fireman turnouts, and slide them on in there, and uh, they're a lot more comfortable. Uh, and that's a that's a fifteen twenty dollar fix, uh, and you you have a lot more uh, a better day standing on your feet, especially if you're that type of fisherman like I am, where you're gonna fish all day on your feet. Um, uh, the only drawbacks were uh, breathability. Um, they do breathe, but not uh, as good as my higher end waders. Uh, but that's to be expected when I, when I rolled them down, uh, I was in the water probably for four or five hours. Um, uh, there was a little bit of condensation in, but my pants weren't wet. So it didn't make me wet, but you could see the condensation was starting to build up on the inside. Uh, and I'm a, I'm a smaller framed guy. I'm only five, 985. Uh, if you're a bigger guy, you may put off a lot more body heat. So that could be something that could be considered, but, uh, considering what you, what you have for, for the price. Uh, I think that's, uh, that's a small price to pay and that's going to get you out in the water waiting uh, uh, effectively for a, for a good price. Uh, the other thing was the pockets. Um, and this is just me. Uh, these pockets here, they end up on your chest like this. I have uh, real bad shoulders. So to put anything that was smaller, I would, I would have a hard time getting my hands down in there. 
uh, to get it out. Uh, so it would be good maybe for uh, for pliers, something long. So you just got to grab the top, and then it, then it was workable. But you also have the uh, the zippered pouch up front. Um, uh, one thing I like, and other other waiters that that maybe they could they could improve the design on here is a is a, a slide through pocket, kind of like on a on a hoodie. Um, that's a real good deal with some zippers, so you can slide your hands in, and I think that wouldn't uh, would be uh, uh, something they could do. It wouldn't cost them a whole bunch of money to change the price of the waiters, but uh, but overall, both products outstanding for the money. Um, uh, very inexpensive, but very good quality, uh, uh, and I, I really liked both of them. So now um, I was contacted by Runkle, and uh, they are uh, giving me a bunch of uh, discount codes to pass on to you. Um, I will have all these listed in uh, uh, the description of this video along with hyperlinks. But uh, the, the first code is going to be for the entire Runkle store. So if you visit uh, runkle.com and you purchase something, if you go and check out, and if you enter code CSPANKER, code CSPANKER at checkout, you get 15% off your purchase. And then uh, for the, uh, the Jayhawk gloves uh, on their Amazon site, and again, I'll have all the links here and I'll have it down on the screen. Uh, you enter a code, you can get up to 30% off of the gloves. And same thing with the waiters. If you go on their Amazon store, enter a code at checkout, you get 10% uh, off the waiters. So I think that's a great deal because this stuff's already inexpensive as it is. <laughs> so you get an even better deal. So with that, make sure you check out uh, the Runkle store and check out these fine products. Uh, I really enjoy them. Uh, and that's why I'm putting them up on the video so you guys can check them out as well. And uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you out there. Tight lines. Thank you.